What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be wrapping up the app and getting it working with location. So location is a big one, we're going to be getting it um, from straight from the user. So first off, let's jump right in and get into our Android manifest and add a permission. Um, so we're going to want find location. And we're gonna jump back into activity, and then we're gonna be editing stuff in the on create right above uh, our execute. So um, we're gonna be using a location manager. So go ahead and import this in. Import that, and then we can get last known location manager dot GPS provider uh, this will give us a, a location and now you'll notice we get a little red line when we try to get the location basically in NuGet you have to ask for special permission to get the user's location so we'll add that code So this is when you create the location manager. Um, I believe, does it use the location manager? No, it doesn't. All this code doing right here is just checking if um, the user has basically allowed for me to use the location of their device. So if they don't, um, then basically it will pop up a pop up and be like, can you please allow location? Um, and then depending on what they say, we act on that. So we're gonna do on, I believe it's called request permission. On, there we go. So this has a bunch of basically, um, so we, we can just get rid of that stuff have an else um, or we don't we don't have an else okay so this big long line this big long if statement that was auto generated for us um, is checking if our location is active um, if not it goes right in here and it's like sorry you do not have location and I'm just going to copy this straight over from my GitHub um, page right here. And all we want to do is request permissions. This is a lot of um, boilerplate code that is just taken straight from the Android documentation of how to ask for permissions and whatnot. So we're using, we're requesting a permission for the access of find location. And then we're actually creating this my permission request. This is just a random int that we're using. So private final int. And then you set it to some random value up here. Um, I, I like to do 103. Um, and then you create this function right here. Just paste that in. So this is on request permission result. So when we actually request permission, what it's going to do is it's going to prompt the user with a pop-up. And then depending on what the user does, uh, allows or denies, it is then given back to us. So let's say they grant us permission. That's great. We don't really need to do anything. We're going to then grab the permission. We're going to create a init location function. Um, if not, we're just saying, Oh, I'm sorry you didn't give us permission. We're going to be using uh, setting their default location to San Francisco. So we're going to init the location and then we're going to load it. And we can get rid of this. And then we can do the same thing here. So else. Um, so let's say they already gave us permission. Like this is not the first time loading their app. We're going to init location. 
then we're going to wait for restaurant and true nope, get rid of this and get rid of that okay so this init location I'm again just going to copy it straight from my github because it's a long and annoying I'll explain how this is created init location Just copy that, paste that right in there. Okay. So I need to create two variables up here. Oops, doubles. M longitude and latitude. Come down here. Um, don't have to worry about the session. Oops. What do we call it? Pictures, fetch. Don't worry about these guys, you can get rid of that. Location listener and coordinate. Okay. So down here, we have this coordinate right here. Delete that. Um, instead, we're going to create a variable up there called m coordinate. the very top here, uh, create a coordinate and this is a Yelp coordinate, we'll import the class come down here and this is where we're creating the M coordinate and we're just going to fetch pictures change okay so we fix that so now let me explain what's happening here. So for init location, what it's doing is it's creating a new uh, location manager. Uh, the first thing we check is if we have permission. Um, if we don't have permission, as we told them right here, we set the default location to San Francisco, which is right here, and then we start loading stuff. If we they do give us permission, um, what we do is we get their current location. But notice that this, how this says get last known location. Um, so they might not have a last known location. So this can return null. So we're checking. If it's not null, great. Get the longitude, get the latitude, then go ahead and execute. We're done. Else, we don't have their location. So we have to actually go get their location. And to do that, we have to do request single update. And what we do is we pass in a criteria. We create this criteria right here taking accuracy fine, power high, this is just parameters to get the location. And then we just listen for a location change. So right here, all we're saying is, um, you know, if we get a location change, fantastic. Um, then we actually build this coordinate, uh, basically in the longitude and latitude, and then we fetch our pictures. If not, we just say GPS is needed, and then we pretty much just like do nothing. Hopefully, we don't, this doesn't happen. Hopefully, we get a location. And then down here, we're just building the coordinate if it works out. So this is how we're actually getting the location. Um, so we're knitting the location here, and as you can see up here, we're just calling init location, and our init location is getting the basically location if it's not there. So if we come over here to our app and click on GPS, we can turn it on and we, let's just say 37, maybe 122, this will be San Francisco. And let's just restart the app. And let's just watch it. So when that's finished building, we should see the app pop up here. We should see it load in. And depending on whether it has a location already, it might fetch a location. Uh, if not, it'll just go ahead and post it. All right, so it's loading in. Uh, no location was had, so it went ahead and loaded the location in, and then it went ahead and used the coordinates and got uh, San Francisco. So I'm going to swipe through, and it's working quite nice. So that's the app, guys. Um, this is pretty much everything uh, that's on the App Store right now. Um, you can see the full code in my GitHub, which I'll link in the description, uh, which is pretty much everything I showed you in these YouTube videos. Um, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna leave this downloading more pictures for you guys to try on your own. Um, I also have it in the GitHub if you wanna see how I implemented it. Um, if there's, if you guys really wanna see me, I, I can explain how that works um, in another YouTube video, but I'm gonna leave it off for now. Um, and then I do some uh, randomization and have a little algorithm for making the recipes uh, new and fresh. So if you want me to talk about that, let me know. But this is the gist of how the app works. We're going through getting the location using the GPS and the phone. Um, we're calling the Yelp API and then we're just going through and we're swiping. Listening for the swipes, showing stuff. That's the app. So thank you guys for uh, sticking with it, going through the series and uh, creating the app with me. I hope you like it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.